Hey YouTube, Episco Piper on the front porch in Norman, Oklahoma on a beautiful October afternoon. Uh, wanted to make a video. This has been quite some time since I posted anything. Life has been busy uh, and good, but I uh, got myself a birthday present and wanted to share that with, with you all. I uh, had not, I had sort of put a moratorium on buying any new pipes because it was just, I don't need more pipes. I don't. But <laughs> uh, Josh Whitehead had posted on one of the uh, social media channels that he had some pipes to sell. And so I was looking and my birthday was coming up and one does not turn 50 every day. So I sent him a message, how much you want for this pipe you just released? And we went back and forth a little bit and here it is. So this isn't exactly a Yabo uh, because I have already opened the box, but I'm gonna share it with y'all. First of all, uh, a note in the, came with the pipe from Josh and he says, lovely thank you card. Uh, Jason, thank you for your purchase. I hope that you enjoy it and my homegrown tobacco. Any issues, please just call me. I aim to please. Thank you, Josh. So this is uh, Whitehead Pipes, and um, he's all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just look up Josh Whitehead, and uh, you can find out about his work. So... Here is the box, and here is the pipe, and this is a lovely uh, deep oompal, which I did not have anything like this in my collection, and I had had, had a smaller one years ago, it was just a basket pipe and I really liked it but I had gotten rid of it and so I was kind of thinking about something like that anyway. Um, you can see this has got some beautiful grain around the bowl and then the stem joins. There's a little little bit of a fill right down here off the, at the base but it's not a big deal. Um, lovely handwork and you can see Josh's uh, particular insignia carved on the bottom. The stem, this thing's massive. I mean, this is a really good size. It's, it's not heavy for the size, but it's big. And so the stem is a complete piece of handwork in its own right. Josh's comment was, it took a big block to make that stem. You can see very, very simple but lovely. And then at the, I don't know if you can see this so well in the light, but there's a bit of trim work right at the top where the bowl joins the stem. So there's a little extra, extra craft in that. Um, bowl, the bowl is some, not narrow, but it's it's uh, narrower than some, but it's quite deep. I'm going to show you. Here's my pinky finger going all the way down into the bowl. So this is going to hold quite a bit of tobacco. And uh, I'm going to fill it up and break it in in just a moment. I'll show you all that. And I will be smoking in it some Moon Trance. Have uh, been on kind of a Sutliff Eng English aromatic kick lately, which is my preferred blend at the moment, and I really like it. Um, it's it's got some wonderful notes to it. It's not heavy, um, but it does have an English flavor to it. It, it smell the room notes wonderful. It smells like pipe tobacco ought to smell like. It's not overwhelming. 
Uh, that's really, really nice. But I was in the mood today for something a little bit sweeter, uh, a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go with the Moon Trance and uh, be back in a minute and see how, see how it goes. So hold on one sec. <laughs> 